If the theme and the driver of markets is the AI theme, then it's possible that markets are very concentrated around that, and these are the names that are carrying the whole market. But what is very interesting, and you call it strange, but definitely notable so far this year, is that despite the fact that markets are pricing out rate cuts by the ECB, by the Fed, uh, earnings are pushing equity momentum higher. And the way that I kind of bring them together is as we think about evaluating risk assets, you discount future cash flow. So the discount rate is going up, but future cash flow is going up as well. So the denominator uh, is actually having a negative drag on broader sentiment because of the pricing out of rate cuts. But the numerator is outweighing the denominator, which is uh, what we're seeing right now. But wait, is there danger, and I've heard it from certain corners, that actually if we push back rate cuts, then we're really going to have a problem with the economy. Could that look, be like a policy mistake? Uh, if we push back rate cuts, I mean, right now markets are pricing in three cuts, slightly over three cuts by the Fed, yeah. by the ECB. We're not talking about rate hikes. I know there are chatters yes. of maybe the next uh, move could be rate hikes, but I think the bar for that is really, really high. So, you know, going from six cuts at the beginning of the year to now three cuts, that sounds sensible. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that that would be very alarming um, unless something dramatic happens with the economy. That's actually what we we expect for uh, this year. Now, having said that, there is a nuance that I want to introduce a little bit in terms of the path of inflation trajectory. So right now, markets are very fixated around how difficult it is to get the last mile of inflation down. We actually don't think that that's very hard because goods deflation in the U.S. is rounding over minus uh, 2%. Actually, we are expecting in the coming month and quarters that uh, in Europe as well as in the U.S., inflation hits target. So when that becomes clear, uh, then maybe markets could reprice again as they have wildly uh, been repricing um, you know, from left to right and right to left uh, very, very uh, quickly in the past uh, 18 months. So repricing could still happen. But where we differ from uh, kind of the inflation going down and staying down is that we think that it could go up uh, afterwards because of structural constraints.